today we're having a look at this. It's a main board from a Lenovo 10 inch tablet where unfortunately the uh, USB port has been damaged and uh, it's also taken a couple of the tracks off with it. So we're going to give it a clean up and see if we can put a new socket back on there. Let's do that now. We're not using the Jabe today, we're using the proper JBC iron because we're doing micro soldering. So really first I just want to get these, um, these pads cleaned up, just get the old there we go. Just get the old bits of the socket off. Because it looks like some of the pads have some of the connections to the socket have been left there. So you don't really want those on there. And that's quite a big ground trace, so uh, that's and take a little bit more heat to uh, get it off. Wow. Okay, I might add a little bit of solder to that. Give it a little bit more thermal mass. Let's get some uh, flux on that and just go over it with some solder. That's much better. I can actually see them now. We need to uh, now take off the solder with some braid. Otherwise the new socket won't go on flat. Well, that wouldn't be good. Try not to damage these other pins as well. There we go, that looks pretty good. I'll just take a little bit more off there. Perfect. That looks nice and flat to me. And because these tracks are missing, we're going to have to um, solder some wires onto the socket after it's been replaced, which could, um, yeah. Could be a lot of fun. For the moment, let's clean this off. Using some nice strong isopropyl alcohol for that. The next thing to do would be to put the new socket on. Just get that soldered on. We have a new socket here. Again, we'll put a little bit of uh, flux on there. It's absolutely disgusting and it gets everywhere, but never mind. Let's get that over there where we need it to be. And now, let me put the socket on. Just need to just check to make sure that's flat, and we're going to resolder it. Pins are going to be interesting to solder to. The ones that need the um, need rewiring. Uh, let's think. Okay, we should be able to get a wire onto that. So let's get these ones done first to hold it in. Let's 
I don't know quite how this got so badly damaged. Maybe it was plugged in and someone um, knocked it off a table or something. Right, that is the socket physically anchored in place. Need to solder the pins on that we can solder. Now that one at the end has gone onto the um, it's gone onto the back of the USB socket, but that doesn't matter because it's actually the earth or the ground. So that is absolutely fine. Now we've got two pins there that don't have connection going to them. So we've got that one there and that one there. We can see that this trace goes down there. So I'm going to scrape that off and see if we can get a wire attached to that bit of it. The other ones seem okay. Let's scrape off a... Which one should we do first? Let's do this one first. So what we want to do is just take off a bit of the uh, top coating so we can get the copper underneath. We'll just put a little blob of solder on that. That looks good. Be nice if this could be on just like a little bit of an angle or something. Let's clean that. Don't want a dirty tip. Oh, that seems better. I think it's on. Doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to work. Definitely on. Alright, so what about this other one then? <clears throat> Sorry if it keeps going out of shot, guys. It's a uh, yeah, right pain in the ass. Let's scrape the correct pad, shall we? Oh, that's going to be a right pain now. Especially those two pads right next to each other. We'll work around it. I reckon the old JBC irons are better, you know. This one takes quite a long time to kind of boot up and get going. There we go, I think that's soldered. Give it a bit of a clean up because that's looking really messy. Look a lot better once it's had a clean. If I 
good luck I'll probably run it through the um, ultrasonic bath as well but that looks that looks pretty good to me I mean I know it looks it looks crappy under the under the um, under the microscope view but it looks all right well electrically I mean I don't think anything's shorting, but I'm going to check that now. <laughs> that looks good. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.